Hello and welcome to the CSCART video lesson. My name is Sergey and today we are going to learn how to install CSCART on web hosting. Let's roll! To download CSCART you need to go to the official CSCART website and proceed to the download page. After that you have to enter your first name, last name and email. By the way, you can also order the installation from our experts, it's free, but not now. Click download button and here we go. The installation package download link was sent to our email. If you have any questions, you can ask them at our community forum. Here is the email with the link. Just open it and click the link to begin downloading. Ok, the process has begun, I'm going to skip it. We downloaded this card and now it's time to install it on a server. The next step in CSCART installation process is the choice of web hosting. There are lots of hostings in the web. Read the reviews, look at the ratings and make your choice based on the features you need. I chose Tomato Card Hosting based on Fast Comet because of its 40 day free trial and um, good speed and free domain. So let's get started. Let's make up a domain name. For example, CS Card Store. And by the way, pay attention fastcomet.host. That's because I use free cloud hosting. That's why this address is this strange. Yeah, it's completely free. That's exactly what I need. Now I'm going to enter my personal data, so I will skip this part. After the order was submitted, the confirmation letter was sent to our email, so let's go and check it. Here is the email. It contains all information about your account, your server name, server IP, control panel, username of the control panel, password to the control panel, and uh, all information about your hosting, speaking generally. Now, let's enter the username and the password. After that, we will get access to the control panel and we will be able to install CSCART on the server. Done. We are at the control panel. There are lots of buttons here, but first we need to go to the site publisher and find out what is the folder for our future store. Ok, CSCART, this is the link and uh, here is the website directory, home CSCART ST public HTML. That's where the CSCART will be installed. So, let's move to the file manager. Yeah, you can move by clicking the link or you can move from the general panel. Files, File Manager. Just like this. After that, we choose Public HTML and click Upload button. Select the CSCART archive and wait until it will be uploaded. After uploading, we go back to the installation folder and extract the files from the archive. The extraction process has finished and now we will need a database in order to make our store work. To create my SQL database, find the dolphin icon and click it. I'm using database wizard because I want to create both the database and the user for this database. First, we give a name to our new database, database1. And after that, we create the user. Okay. Don't forget to enter the password for the user. Or you can use password generator by the way. 
After that, you should distribute privileges between users or give all privileges to one user. Well, it's up to you. Done. Now we can go back to a home page. Always set up and now we can go to the site publisher and begin the installation process. Now click the field and click the link. After that you will get a message telling you that this card is not installed. Please click here to start the installation process. Click the install button. Read the license agreement. Accept it. And click the next step. At the top of the page you will see the URL of your store. For now it looks like this. After that you will need to enter your database data, the name of the database, the name of a user and the user password. You can also take a look at the advanced settings if you wish and check your database backend. After that you will have to enter the administration settings. This will be this information will be used for your first login. You can choose the default language, for now it's English, and choose some other languages that you will need in your store, if you wish. For example, I chose Danish, Italian, Swedish, and Hungarian. You can also install demo data, if you wish. There will be some products, orders, promotions, users, and so on, just for you to get used to the store. You can also choose to help us improve this card. Oops, something went wrong. I think the problem is in the database data. Now I'm gonna enter the new name and the new username. Done. And yes, help us improve. The installation process has begun. Usually it takes only a few minutes to install this card on the server. The installation process has completed and after choosing the licensing mode between Full and trial. Uh, by the way, our licensing policy will change soon, so full mode will be replaced by professional and ultimate modes. We choose trial for now. And uh, it's because of the first launch. Choose between administration panel or you can go straight to storefront. You can also run settings wizard in order to set up your store with just a few clicks. Or you can visit our knowledge base if you wish to learn more about this card. For now I'll stick to the administration panel. And that's it. Our store is ready for business. To get to the storefront just click the small card button. The first time loading takes time because the cache was not generated yet. But when you visit some other pages or simply refresh the page, the store will run fast and smoothly. As you can see now, the card installation is a simple and fast process, so don't be afraid to take everything into your own hands. Thanks for watching and see you in the next card video tutorials.